Guys, welcome to 8 Seconds in 8 Days. This project is going to be a lot of fun. We are going to build a car that's a shell currently, or not much more than a shell, into an 8 second car in 8 days, and we're going to race it at FL2K. And I really enjoy having you guys here to watch it all transpire, see our parts and everybody else's parts go into it, and uh, see what it takes. The basic premise here is we have a Fox body, also known as El Toro. We have an 8.8 rear end. We have a 2017 Coyote engine with 500 miles on it that we're gonna just do some very minor upgrades. 7675 uh, precision turbo kit that we built and uh, a power glide transmission. And we're gonna run it on 26 inch Mickey Thompson drag radials. Very similar to uh, what a lot of you guys out there desire and wanna make yourself. So I think it's gonna be fun and exciting and uh, I think we're all gonna learn a lot, us and you guys. <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> Dude, I got some work to do back here. Might have to patch that one you up. Might have to buy some restoration parts for this one actually, <laughs> in addition to race car parts. So, this is also that one. since we're kind of at a stalemate till the brakes show up, let's start working on figuring out how we're gonna mount the fuel cell. This thing's gangster, dude. So. Basically any car I build from now on is going to have one of these in it because you don't have to worry about the sump coming out the bottom. It's got an in-tank pump in it so you don't have to try and mount the, tank, the sump or the pump. The pre-filter is built in so you don't have to deal with that. Less lines, less fittings. It's like dude, it's a home run. And the pump runs quieter and cooler. The brushless pumps have been super good to us and we really like it and this car we're going to run on ethanol. We're ba basically building it this time to make about a thousand horsepower or so and then we just know that we can't leave anything alone so we're gonna this pump will be able to make about 1550 to the rear wheels at some point so it's a five gallon a minute brushless in tank pump we're just gonna build it so we have some room to grow on the car I don't think it'll ever make more than that as far as a car because the cage won't be really you know rated for that and we got other fast cars but this is a solid setup, you know, basically once we get this mounted in there, all we're going to have to do is uh, run line and a, pre and a post filter. So one line out of here, a vent and a return and you're like good to go. So another thing that's cool is they have a built-in sending unit for uh, fuel level and stuff. Not that we'll probably use it this time around. But this, this 15 gallon from Aeromotive is just like just what the doctor ordered. And I think if I measured right, it'll fit right in the spare tire well. So we won't have to cut the floor out of it. Yep. It's hitting on. There's like a little bracket underneath, so we're gonna try to cut that off. But I think what I'm gonna do is just have. I'll probably just go machine four aluminum standoffs from the bottom, and then weld them on the bottom, and then mark them, and then drill holes, and then just bolt them from the bottom side of the floor, and then it'll be super clean. And simple. We don't have to do a bunch of sheet metal work and all that. Because if I had to cut that all the way out, that would have been. A lot of work. So, 15 gallon air motor cell fits right in the spare tire well on a Fox body, which means it probably fits in, on a lot of vehicles. Probably fits in a lot of other things. That's a home run. So, that would be, if I want about two and a quarter. Do um, you want to start disassembling this fuel cell? Yeah. Just need to pull the pump out, probably. Pump Alright, let's get that fabbed up. Oh, I can run. I can make it. Okay, just give me whatever you need. Let me know what you need. Two inches long. Uh, make them three eighths. Yeah, because I'm going to weld them to the bottom of the tank. And then, uh, and then I'll throw a hole and then just bolt it from underneath. And then if you admit, yeah. you want to help with the fox button? Yeah. So we're not putting a back seat in it, so he's going to make an yeah, aluminum sure. firewall bulkhead so that you're separated from the battery and the gas tank. Gas tank. So fumes and, worst case, fire. Fire. It doesn't immediately come right through to you. So he'll draw it up, cut it on the plasma table. We'll rivet or bolt it in and rock and roll. Secret oh, Corvette parts, Ted. Oh man! Coming look at that. soon. Go race back here. You. <laughs> oh yeah, that's perfect. 
in the seat's not all the way back anyway. So yeah. There's all that you could go back a hair more, but it's perfect. I wouldn't yeah, take it great. Our little storage shed. Our store, our Fox Body storage shed. It's got good stuff. A lot of happiness it. in here. That's a keeper. I can stack on that. We've been planning this for this for a while, Chad. Like this amount of packages and knowing what's in these packages. This is kind of like Christmas as a five-year-old when you see like the tree, you're like, oh, cool. Well, I'm into I can't box. get that on Christmas anymore because people are like, what do you want? And I'm like, a haircut. Well, some you, socks. A haircut. <laughs> a haircut. <laughs> yeah, socks. Because what I really want, you're not going to buy me. Yeah. Unless it's from Motion Raceworks. And Motion Please. Raceworks plug. Shameless plug. <laughs> All right, there we go. Pretty big base model, really. A little more space. A little bit more. I don't know what that name is. Uh, it's on for a while. <laughs> Woo! Right. There's that. Trunk is closed. Sound dead. I mean, uh, weight removal. Weight reduction. Thank you, Ow. That's a staple. <laughs> So what's your plan on this, John? To do the cam lockouts. Take the balancer off. I think the front cover comes off. And then there's lockouts in there. There's some sort of lockout kit we got. Cam lockout. We don't need variable valve timing where we're going. No. <laughs> what you looking for, James? Uh, we're looking for some stickers, Chad. Oh. Sticker up the old uh, El Toro. Oh yeah, we need oh, some stickers. big stickers, uh, little office. stickers, all the stickers. Yeah. The ECU had stickers in the box. Oh, perfect. I do remember that because it had some cool. It had a cool keychain in the box. Sweet. Ooh. There was some neat. Oh, I'm sorry, Dash. He's like had, had oh. keychain and stickers. Uh, <laughs> Past tense. Uh, we're still happen to be in my garage now. Oh shoot. Dude, that. Stickers are light. Sticker live. I mean, I did get excited. Oh, so you're gonna have a horsepower. That might. Oh, yep, there they are. There it is. It's Ooh. only one now. Ooh. Is it only one? Maybe like 20. Uh, I don't know what happened to the other four. Some more. <laughs> We're gonna need more, bigger. That's the only one I remember. Brakes, brakes, brakes. That's what we need. Ow, that's a transition. Get those suckers installed. Yes, second day. I won't come off, Chad. <laughs> we are making some spacer bushing flash mounts for the fuel tank. So we're just threading one in, and then they'll be welded to the tank. Putting James to work here. Just a little bit. Get the master cylinder on here. Just trying to do what I can. What we got, Chad? Find out. Working on the ground. This thing's got self tappers holding this cable in. There's four different <laughs> size self tappers. Perfect. Like, I gotta have my whole set of tools under here just to take this cable off. This old crusty cable off. Like, what the heck? Did... Feels like the old days laying on the ground. Back to your roots, huh? Good thing I'm fresh off of drag week, or race weeks, and that was uh, all we had. Ain't no room for prima donnas here. Let's play musical nut drivers. What size is this one going to be? I actually loathe self-tappers on a level that I can't even describe to you. I'm just the worst. Look at that. See that? It's all burned up and stuff. Oh yeah. I don't even know how that's possible under here unless the exhaust caught it on fire. But I'm sure that gave them some problems. Go ahead and grab that, Chad. <laughs> Bare hand. There we go. There we go. Thanks, Brad. Yep. <laughs> Uh, I didn't even think about it.
tech tip for you. Remove oil before... Before removing engine from the said <laughs> car it came from. So what's happening, John? Well, we got all the chains and actuators off. Trying to figure out how the lockouts work. And pretty much coming to a standstill because we're waiting for some valve springs. Ooh, is that one of those uh, Greg Slacks? Yep, it's a uh, Jurassic Park converter. Mm, love it. So from my 800 builds where this is always an issue, I just was making sure that matches up to the flex plate and then I've never worked with a coyote motor before so I was measuring this pilot versus the one in the back of the uh, engine and I noticed they're way different so I'm gonna I looked it up they sell an adapter we don't actually need this today but I'm trying to hedge issues since we're on such a short timeline so I'm gonna order the adapter pilot bushing deal today Hopefully have it tomorrow so that if we get the motor done tomorrow and want to drop it all in, we can drop it all in, be done, move on with our lives. Wish me luck. Haven't welded in months. <laughs> it's like the first time every time, right? It's like the first time every time. Yeah. Time. Here, high five, dude. Woo! <laughs> well, first thing went right today. <laughs> well, that one thing. <laughs> Got one thing. I, right. I still have to finish welding it, so I might screw that up. <laughs> you never know. It's always not. Dogs are always here to help. Always. <laughs> you want to put it up through that one? Mm, push it to there. And I put it in there, it's like not bad. I trimmed two edges once and I yeah, started done. riveting. Yeah. How's this thing look on jack stands? It's not doing a wheelie or anything, is it? Off the jack stands? It feels solid when I get in it. Okay. <laughs> it felt like it was kind of bumping uh, down with no engine. You're on the oh, you're on there. Okay, good. You're on there. In the back, you're on Oh, there. okay. Ah, okay, yeah, now I feel that. Probably there. scaring James half to death underneath. Oh, Sorry, James, I put Bonsai <laughs> on in here. <laughs> Okay, go ahead and pick it up. Sun <laughs> dropper down. Getting the fuel cell all tightened up. Should be able to start running lines then. If 
finally we get to put these to good use on one of our own projects. Just ordered these in from Motion Raceworks. Got, got here these. in no time. Almost order them and they showed up 30 seconds later. It's amazing. <laughs> those guys are fast. <laughs> what else you got on those brakes there? Uh, finish it up. Just uh, got to reinstall the pedal and then we should be good to go. Now that I can get back in here. You didn't have to modify those at all, right? No. <laughs> totally a bolt-in situation. Just one little hole in the stock pedal. All right together. All that Hall Tech goodness, huh? All that Hall Tech goodness. I'm trying to keep busy while the car can't move. Ask you right away. We get exhaust manifold washers coming for that. Sure. What's up? Hey, Tyler. He's gone. Aww. Oh, he had enough. What? For the day? He went to yeah. get a car. Yeah. He had a new ride. Hmm. Great. That's a coyote intake manifold. Uh, these are, yeah, those are Mustang rails. Yeah, touch fuel bracket stuff in a while. So if they look. fit, take them. <laughs> <laughs> those do sound like words right out of Doug's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds a lot like something he would say. Is it easier to... I've been around him a lot lately. <laughs> I don't know where the rest Does he mean we were using this manifold also, or I was just supposed to get rails down here? Let's say, are we gonna, I don't know. Are we using mm -hmm. a factory manifold, or are we going to get... Because we have... You act like this is planned out or something. <laughs> <laughs> no, maybe we Nobody sold that already. Clue. They don't go on there, won't they? I'm pretty sure I've had them on there. He said billet rails, right? Which are that the ones that were there, there, there. Okay. but the brackets aren't there. Mouse. There goes the I Fox mean, Body that's sign. That's just Lucas sign. <laughs> no Fox Body tools here. Sorry, Lucas. That sign didn't apply to me anyway. <laughs> that was just to everyone else. tight in the corners there. I didn't do those right. Why'd you let me do that? Yeah, my bad. Damn if, it, Chad. Maybe next time. Where are we at on that one? I dropped the ball for sure. Oh, oh just got that uh, block off plate there. Good the beast. Looking good. Crappy, yet safe. <laughs> oh boy, another Kirky. Oh, it came in? Yeah. It's supposed to be here this morning, but... Oh! I can put that in the car and make noises now. All right, guys. Today, day one, is over. We pretty much got as far as we can on the car thus far. One of our boxes of TBM brakes showed up. The other one's MIA. Uh, looks like it got stuck at a previous hub or whatever. So... Unfortunately, the brakes that we needed, the fronts, so that we could roll the car into the other garage and get it on the lift and start working on it, uh, were the ones that didn't come in. So they're set to arrive tomorrow, which means we can really put it in gear tomorrow, get it moved over, start fitting the cage, start doing everything for that matter. But we did get the fuel tank, we got the battery installed, we got some of the brake stuff done, uh, like the master cylinder, the pedal, all modified. So we're making good headway. Definitely a little bit behind going into day two compared to what I really wanted to be and where I really wanted to be, but that's how builds go. It's not just you guys, it's us too. We get stuck waiting on parts and things too, but 
That's how it rolls. We'll put in some late nights and make up for it. This is going to be a super exciting build. Uh, I'm really excited about how fast this thing's going to go and how it's going to turn out. I think it's going to be really fun and a lot of it's going to turn some heads. Definitely stay tuned. Hit the subscribe button. We'll have another video dropping tomorrow of day two and every day after that for eight days. And then uh, right after that, we'll be racing it. So next couple weeks of uh, El Toro are going to be a lot of fun. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you later.